This boy is Finn, and I know he's scruffy looking. He doesn't like for me to brush him. Um, Finn is one of our pips. He was is declawed, and he's obviously been abused, but he is making great strides. In fact, yesterday I came home, and I was so tired, and I kind of laid on the bed and pulled a pillow literally over my head, and he started headbutting me under the pillow and was kneading on me and gave me a nice gentle massage, and um, was just in general being absolutely perfect. He let me uh, pull him up against me and nap with him for just a few minutes before he decided he wanted to move on his way. He does not like other cats. He cannot go home with children because he still has a grumpy attitude of a cat that's been declawed and been abused. But he can be so very sweet. He has learned with me, I'm going to pick him up, I'm going to kiss him, I'm going to hold him, I'm going to carry him around. And he actually is doing very well with that. He just needs a quiet, cat-experienced home with no other cats, no children, because I can't guarantee um, that he won't get mad at them. Um, and he is kind of your quintessential grumpy old man. He's probably about, I don't know, three to five years, I would say. Um, but, you know, after what he suffered, being declawed and being thrown outside, hey, Finn, he deserves a good home. Hold on, hold on, I'll let you in. And he said he's had enough of the great outdoors. Oh, there we go. Finn, Finn again. Let's see if I can get him to talk to me. I think he's pretty hacked off now. Nope. He says goodbye, everybody.